You know, I don't know what New Year's Eve would be complete without a big bowl of black-eyed peas for good luck. So we're getting some planted right now because they can take the heat and they've got plenty of time to yield before fall. Now I've planted four varieties out here of your types of Crowder peas. Some people call them southern peas. Up ahead, I've got some Mississippi silver planted, some elite cream, and then on here on the left, I've got plain old California black eye, which is a big black eye pea seed. And then over here is a favorite around eastern Oklahoma, and it's called pink eye purple hull. I want to show you the difference between that and a regular black eye. The seed is slightly smaller, and sure enough, it does have what looks like a pink eye around the edge of it and it grows in a purple hull, hence the name. I understand it's a very good tasting one, so we'll try some of these later this fall once they start bearing. Now when we're trying to sow seed in 100 degree weather, you want to make a little bit deeper than normal furrow. Make sure you keep them well watered. Southern peas, cow peas, black eyed peas, whatever you call them, are very, very tough and they'll come up in the heat, but they do need a little extra help. In addition to giving them plenty of water and a deeper than normal furrow, I've also put in the row some complete fertilizer, 13, 13, 13, just a, a slight sprinkling of that. In addition, I've inoculated the seed. Now I've got one more variety in the bean family to plant, and I'm going to inoculate that as well. The first thing we do is just pour a little bit of water in a container and the variety I'm putting down now is called Jacob's Cattle or Trout. It's a dry bush bean, and it's what we call an heirloom type seed. The heirloom varieties are seed that have been passed down by our forefathers over the years. They're not hybrids developed by some big seed company. They're just passed down through the generations. This is a very attractive bean, great flavor in soups and stews, and I think it has kind of a neat coloration. But to help it get off to a good start, we want to drop it in water and let those so seeds soak for a moment or two just to get the surface of them wet. The next step is to drain off the water once the seed is moistened. And as always, we want to inoculate the seed with a packet of seed or a packet of inoculant that is labeled for use this year. This says used before December 1988. You want to buy fresh inoculant every year so you'll know that it's still viable. And we've just put a little bit in there. A packet this size will treat eight pounds of seed. So you might want to get one packet and share it with your neighbors because there's plenty in there. And then just mix that around so that the seed are coated slightly. And then we can just go down the row and plant them. And when these come up, I want to thin them to about four to six inches apart. And I'll side dress them again later on in the season. With dry beans, when it comes time to harvest them, you can go ahead and harvest some of them early at what we call the green stage and eat them fresh or freeze them or go ahead and let them dry on the plant. Either way, they taste just great. <laughs>